3764. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Hit it, Elvis. You got it. It's Elvis back on tour, coming to you from Norfolk, Virginia. We're at the site of the Norfolk Scope Arena. Elvis performed here in July of 1975 on July 20th. He did two shows here, one at 2.30, one at 8.30. Building seats 11,300 for both of Elvis's shows. This is probably one of the most unique buildings that we've ever toured with the, uh, the way the building is constructed. Very beautiful, very unique. And we went inside and we took a full tour and we will include all that in the video. And uh, we just wanted to give you a nice look at the outside. After watching the 1960 Rome Summer Olympics and seeing the Palazzo de la Sport and the Palazzo de la Sport, two Norfolk architects solicited Center A. Willis Robertson to build a sports complex in Norfolk. Subsequently, President Lyndon B. Johnson asked Robertson to support federal funding for a multi-million dollar cultural center in Colorado, and Robertson said he would if Johnson would support one in Norfolk. Construction on the scope began in June of 1968 and was completed in 1971 at a cost of $35 million. When it opened formally on November 12, 1971, the structure was the second largest public complex in Virginia behind only the Pentagon. Michael and I have visited over 100 venues across the country that Elvis performed in, and we are always drawn to the architectural features of each, and we both agree that next to the Hampton Coliseum, the Scope is one of the most beautiful venues that Elvis ever performed in. Since 2003, $11 million of renovations have occurred, and while it's not exactly as it was when Elvis was here in 1975, many things remain exactly as they were, as we will show you later in our video. From the outside, this is the garage door that Elvis's limo would have entered and exited the building. The garage door area hasn't changed much since Elvis's shows here, which gave us a great opportunity to line up some photos of Elvis exiting his car before a show. Although some slight changes have been done, including an addition of a door, this is where Coliseum staff told us these photos would have been taken. After Elvis exited his limousine, he had a very short walk to the room where he remained prior to going on stage.
During Elvis's afternoon show, Elvis noticed a little girl in the crowd. He had her come on stage, and he walked over and knelt down on one knee in front of her. Realizing she was blind, Elvis held her hands and spoke to her for a few minutes. The audience could not hear as he kept the microphone away from his mouth. There are many stories speculating about what Elvis said to the little girl during their conversation and what he did for the family afterwards. We have no factual information about what happened, so we do not want to add to the speculation. We only want to mention the special moment Elvis had with the young fan. Elvis back on tour coming to you from Norfolk, Virginia. We're at Military Circle. We're at the site of what was the Sheraton Hotel when Elvis performed here in 1975. Elvis had just left Long Island uh, performing at Nassau Coliseum and headed here to Norfolk. And the day after he left here, he went to Greensboro, North Carolina. We just wanted to give you a look at the hotel. This is another one of those pieces of Elvis history that has a very short life expectancy. This hotel is to be torn down, they say, probably within the year. It's a pretty unique hotel in the sense that it was built, according to our research, it was built in the late 60s, and it's actually connected to the shopping mall. So when you stayed here uh, in those days, you know, you could come down and just walk through a, uh, uh, a corridor and you could be connected to the entire mall and then, you know, come back and go upstairs and at the base of the hotel, at one time was a nice restaurant. But like I say, in our research, we're finding out that this hotel uh, will be torn down in the very near future. And we just wanted to give you a look so we can include it in our video and just give you another look at one of the other hotels that Elvis stayed at during the touring years. Visiting the old Sheraton Hotel was haunting as it has sat vacant for many years. But as we have to do so many times in the years that we have done this, we have to let our imagination take us back to 1975 and imagine the fun they must have had. We always try to include photos of the hotels as they were when Elvis stayed there to give you a feel for the time. We are very happy to report that since our tour, efforts are underway to save the hotel and repurpose the mall at Military Circle. Keep your fingers crossed. A pretty cool side note. Our tour sheets show us this is the former Greyhound bus terminal where the bus was obtained to bring the group from the airport to the hotel. We'd like to thank the staff of the Norfolk Scope Arena for giving us a wonderful tour of their building and sharing all the history about the building. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe as well as follow us on all of our social media accounts using the link in the description below.